on the Health Watch tonight, do limits on where you can buy flavored tobacco work? Many cities and towns have passed restrictions to try to cut down on teenaged tobacco use. Dr. Malcolm Marshall is here. And, Doctor, a new study conducted here in Massachusetts suggests that the limits are working. Yes, they do. So, back in 2016, health officials studied two Massachusetts cities. Lowell, where they okay. restricted availability of these products to youth, and Malden, where they didn't. And they found that just after six months, the availability of these products went down by 70% in Lowell. They did not in Malden. And the use of flavored and non flavored tobacco products amongst teens fell in Lowell but actually rose in Malden. But they're saying the point is that you can make these changes and within six months you can actually make an impact and try to get kids to stop using these things. Interesting. So just how you present them. Basically. Or just restricting them restricting. in general. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the stethoscope has been a tried and true tool for doctors and nurses for two centuries, but will it become obsolete? Doctor, what's going to take its place? This makes me a little sad. I could imagine it would. I've been using a stethoscope for over 20 years examining patients, but I have to say there are times when I'm like, oh, I wish I could just look inside. So this was reporting by the Associated Press that said that sort of newfangled devices, high-tech devices, okay. might replace it one day. So, for example, digital versions that allow you to pair with a smartphone yeah. or handheld ultrasound scanners that will actually show you. You can hear the heart, but you can also see what's going on in the heart and especially leaky valves and stuff like that so they're saying um, advances in artificial intelligence will help people interpret those results and possibly within a decade when you go to your doctor's office she may not walk in with a stethoscope she might have an ultrasound in her pocket if I were a doctor I would not like this we talked about this you think it's sort of a sign of prestige oh, and credibility it's the ultimate power move is to have the stethoscope <laughs> it lets the world know who you are yeah it's the ultimate accessory for a doctor everyone knows just when you walk in the room how many years you went to school and how successful you are well, I didn't know that I was <laughs> impressing people with my stethoscope but why didn't you become a doctor then too hard. Okay. Yeah. This is much easier. <laughs>